The nutrient density analysis research at Rodale Institute is currently examining the nutrient density of oat grain. The oat grain comes from our farming systems trial, or more commonly referred to as FST. FST is one of the longest running farming trials in the U.S. that compares organic and conventionally grown grain, which began in 1981. In the past, we have examined yield, input, cost, and greenhouse gas emissions. In 2014, we began examining the nutritional values of oats to determine if how soil was managed affected the nutrient quality of the food grown on the land. To do this analysis, we looked at the nutrients in the soil as well as the nutrients in the oats. In the following videos, you will see how soil cores are collected, broken down into subsamples, and sieved to be prepared for soil analysis. In this video, you will see our research team collect soil cores using a getting soil probe. Rick, a member of the research team, will drive the tractor out into the middle of the plot to find a spot that he can collect the soil. Using the hydraulic system of the getting's core, Rick will then put the core approximately one meter into the ground to collect a soil sample. After bringing the probe back up, the plastic tube inside the probe is then collected out of the metal probe. Caps are then placed on either end of the tubes and placed into cold storage until the soil cores can be broken down into depths of 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 60, and 60 to 100 centimeter portions. The soil core is pushed out of the tube to determine the A and B horizons of the soil. After that, the soil core is ready to cut. On average, the A horizon, or where the organic matter is in the soil, is longer in the organic treatments as compared to the conventional treatments. As you can see, the soil is cut into 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 60, and 60 to 100 centimeter portions. The different lengths that the soil core is cut into are then weighed to determine the wet weight of the soil. After the soil is laid out and dried for five days, the soil will then be sieved and then sent off for analysis, which will look at the mineral content of the soil, in addition to the percent carbon and the percent nitrogen of the soil. As you can see here, Scott, a research intern, is breaking up soil clots. Scott then places the soil into a two millimeter sieve and passes the soil through the sieve with a spoon to separate the rocks from the soil. The more Scott is able to break apart the soil clods, the easier it will be to sieve the soil. Scott then places the soil onto a paper and tray to dry for the next five days and places the rocks into a tin. This dried soil will later be sent off for analysis to look at various minerals and percent carbon and nitrogen. After that, Scott will then place the soil that has been sieved onto the scale to take the weight of the wet soil. After the weight of the soil has been taken, he will then take a subsample to determine percent moisture. This subsample will then be placed into the oven for 24 hours to determine the weight of the dry subsample. Thank you for watching. This project was funded by the Chipotle Cultivate Foundation.